Hello guys, this is Absinish Mail. Now version 14 of WYSIWYG Web Builder allows us to add a font property to a jQuery tab as well as add icons and then description to the menu. Now let's go ahead and see how best to go about it. So I'll go to the toolbox and then I'm going to scroll to the jQuery section. So I'm going to come to the jQuery section and then I'm going to locate my tabs. So I'm going to draw on an empty space in here and then I'm going to double click on my tab. Now looking at the options on my tab, you can see I have forms as part of the options. So if I'm using any form property, all I have to do is to enable the form, go to the settings section and then configure my form. Now I'll go ahead and hit an OK and then come back to my jQuery tab. So since I'm going to be adding a form property, I'll come back to my toolbox and then I'm going to navigate to the form section. And then I'm going to start with, let's just use a form wizard. So I'm going to draw in my jQuery tab here. I'm going to create a form based on the template. So I hit on OK. And then let me just look out for something simple. So I'm going to be using, let's just say maybe an uploader. I'll go ahead and hit on OK. These are the options. I can go ahead and configure this later on. So I'll just go ahead and hit on OK and then finish. So as you can see, I have my form processor or my uploader here so i'll go ahead and then double click on this come to the form section and then i can go ahead and configure my form options here so let me just go ahead and hit an ok and hit an ok now let's go ahead and take a look at how to add an icon to the tab as well as some description to it so i'll double click on my tab and then these are my tab which has been listed here so i'll double click on the first tab and i even have the chance of adding an icon so i'll go ahead and select an icon to that one Go ahead and hit on OK and I can add a description as well. So I can type something here. I can do same for the second one. Go ahead and select an icon and then maybe change this to something meaningful. So this is photo. And then go ahead and hit on OK. So let's, if I go ahead and hit on OK, as you can see, I have that show it in here. So if I go ahead and preview this in my browser, you should see that. So. I have this for my first tab and if I hit on this, something different shows here based on what I have inserted in there. Now I can come back and then configure or change the style of my icons, change the style of the heading section. That is when you come to the style section here, you get a chance of doing that. So you can change the couple of options which has been faded out here by simply coming to the use jQuery UI theme section and then you change this from true to false so that you have total control over the icons or the colors or the style properties in here. Now to configure your own themes, all you have to do is to right click on an empty space, go to page properties and then come to the style section. So when you come to the style section, come to the very bottom. So these are the jQuery themes we have in here. Now to create your own team, all you have to do is to just go to the team manager and then look out for any of the teams you have edited or go ahead and add a new team configure the options or the settings or the properties for it and you can go ahead and apply that to your jquery tab in here so that is it for this tutorial thank you very much for watching bye for now